Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To save a presentation for the first time in PowerPoint, click the File tab in the ribbon. Then click the Save As command in the Command panel at the left side of the Backstage view. To the right of the Command panel, a list of available locations for you to save the file appears. The locations vary depending on the Office subscriptions and services available to your Microsoft account. If you have previously saved files, the Recent option shows a list of folder locations into which you recently saved files. Other common options include your OneDrive folder for Microsoft user accounts, SharePoint folders for Business Office 365 subscribers, and this PC. Select the location to which to save the file. To save the file online to either a selected OneDrive or SharePoint folder if signed into Microsoft Office using a Microsoft user account, click either the OneDrive or SharePoint choice. If you select SharePoint, then select a SharePoint site that appears in the list to the right. If you save to a OneDrive or SharePoint folder, you save the file online. This lets you access it from any online computer when signed in with the same Microsoft user account. If needed, to add a OneDrive or OneDrive for Business location, which also includes SharePoint if available for your account and Office 365 subscription, click the Add a Place link in this list. Then click either the OneDrive or OneDrive for Business buttons to the right. Then enter your login credentials to add the selected resources for the login credentials to your list of saved online locations. Alternatively, to save the file to your local computer or local network, click the This PC choice. At that point, for all choices, a list of folders in the selected location appears in the list to the far right. You can click a folder in this list to select it as the saved location. To go back up one level from within the folder you selected, click the Select to Navigate Up One Level button, which looks like an upward pointing arrow to the left of the current folder's name at the top of the rightmost panel. Then type a file name into the Enter File Name Here field at the top of the rightmost pane. File names should be short and descriptive. You cannot use the following symbols in a file name the colon, the forward slash, the backslash, the greater than sign, the less than sign, the asterisk, double quotes, or the pipe symbol. Give the file a memorable name and note into which folder you save it. People often remember what they named a file but forget into which folder they saved it. If needed to select the specific file type to save, select your choice from the dropdown below the file name field. After entering the file name and noting its save location, click the Save button to the right of the File Type dropdown to finish saving the file. Alternatively, to use a Windows Save As dialog box to save the file, either click the More Options link under the File Type dropdown at the top of the rightmost pane, or click the Browse link in the list of possible save locations. Doing either action then opens the Save As dialog box. In this dialog box, select the folder into which to save the file by using the folder navigation options at either the top or left side of the dialog box. Then enter a file name into the File Name field. If needed, use the Save As Type dropdown to select the file type to save. Then click the Save button within the Save As dialog box to finish. After initially saving a file, its name then appears in the title bar. To save changes you make to locally saved files after that, click the Save button in the Quick Access Toolbar, or click the File tab in the ribbon, and then click the Save command. You will not need to re-enter the file name or select a save location. PowerPoint automatically saves the changes to the existing file. 
Alternatively, if you save the file online to OneDrive or SharePoint and Autosave is enabled, then there is not a save command available in the Backstage view, although you can still click the Save button in the Quick Access toolbar if desired. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.